$1,000, $2,000 or even more. What is the true cost of living in the Philippines for foreigners? At this moment, the BSP expect the inflation rate to reach at least 4.5% by the end of 2022 and around 4% by 2023. The Philippines is a cheap country to live in compared to the Western world. However, it is not as cheap when we compare this to other Southeast Asian countries. Nevertheless, there are many things that expats can do to live cheaper in the Philippines. Some believe that it's impossible to retire and live in the Philippines for less than $1,500 a month. But this isn't always true. There are many retirees and other expats who are living very happily on a low budget in the Philippines. Naturally, there will be some sacrifices that they need to make to maintain this lifestyle long term. So the question is, could you live this kind of lifestyle in the Philippines? If you don't mind living in a small property outside of the city centre and you don't mind eating local cuisine often, you can happily retire and live in the Philippines much cheaper. There are many who have moved and retired to the Philippines for under $1,000 a month, but as mentioned, this requires a slightly different lifestyle than others. Funny enough, last week I received an email asking me what is the minimum cost of living in the Philippines for foreigners. Some Filipinos live on a few hundred dollars a month, but this is not because they choose to, it's because there is no other choice. However, you could choose to live in the provinces, for example, on $700 a month or $800 a month, but is this really what you want? Throughout my numerous cost of living videos, I often recommend a budget of between $1,000 $300 to $1,700. This is because, based on my experience and the countless expats I have met over the years, this is how much they need to live in the Philippines comfortably and have some left over. But some retirees and expats living in the Philippines struggle to pay for their living expenses even with $2,000 or more each month. However, it is not just about the lifestyle, as the location in the Philippines matters. For instance, Makati is well known to be one of the most expensive places in the Philippines, so it's possible to be slightly strapped for cash, even if you have two or three thousand dollars a month, if you live in these expensive areas. If you were asking me how much would it cost you to live in the Philippines, and you want me to be completely clear and as open as possible, I would say that you need at least least $1,500. On the other hand, if you want to live comfortably and not worry about money whatsoever, $2,000 to $2,500 is recommended. But if you are on a budget, can you live on $1,000 a month? This is a debated topic. Is it common? Not so much. But is it possible? Absolutely. We know that the Philippines is a decent place. The language is a massive advantage. The women are stunning. The islands are fantastic, but is it worth the extra expense when it comes to long-term living? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that question. But I need to tell you three key methods if you want to live in the Philippines comfortably. The first method is to focus on earning more. Naturally, when we are in a position where we are trying to save money to live in the Philippines, we focus on cutting down on expenses. But focusing on increasing your retirement cash or your saving pot is very important. I am not saying start a business here, as I know some are simply not interested, but there are many ways to earn money in the Philippines. You could even start a YouTube channel like I do. I don't earn a great deal of money from this channel, only around $100 a month, but it's fun and at the end of the day it's an extra $100 a month. You know, there are some big channels created by expats in the Philippines and God knows how much they make, but I can imagine it's a very sizable amount. The second method is to keep an eye on the free money drainers. This is beer, gambling and dating. I've met many expats who have wasted so much money going on random dates, drinking every night and simply spending it at the casinos. The thing about the Philippines is that it is very easy to burn through a lot of money very quickly. Therefore, you have to keep an eye on where you are spending your money, otherwise you might be shocked at how much money you have left at the end of the month. 
The third and most important method is to live in a quiet area. Areas such as Davao region and Iloilo are popular areas that don't cost too much money. There are also plenty of cities that are much less touristic than others and they often offer a lower cost of living compared to the bigger popular cities. 